Hi guys and welcome to the Bristol City Sheffield Wednesday review. Now if you could like and subscribe to the channel that would do me a big favour. We are trying to get the channel to 600 subs by the end of the year which is something that's very possible with how many subs I want at a minute. So this will be an interesting game because this is the game where we finally had all the who game released, who's not getting new contracts, who's signed short term deals. We we heard that the EFL case has concluded, so we're waiting on what's going to be happening with that as well. So everything's very interesting at the minute as a Sheffield Wednesday point of view, but we need to pick up as many points as humanly possible. So if there is a big point deduction, we've paid ourselves out of it already in a sense. So if we can get a good win here, it would be fantastic. It is the same team that played Forest, so it's Wildsmith, Palmer, Lee, Rhodes, Harris, Bannon, Boren, Murphy, Wickham, Longo and I offer. The subs are Dawson, Odrebayo, Lees, Fox, Pelopesi, De Cruz, Hunt, Reach and Newhue. Now, people are already complaining about Fox being on the bench, uh, saying he should be nowhere near the team, uh, he didn't sign a new deal. At the end of the day, this is football, this is what happens. He may not have signed a deal, so we're having to go with what we've got. But at the end of the day, we will just keep going and hopefully we can get three points against Bristol City today. So in that first half, we actually played very, very well. It was a very fast tempo game by each team. We looked very good going forward and we looked very good the entire game. There were times where the bat we kind of not been great at like uh marking at times but it's been great there was a fantastic save by joe wildman to keep us in the game and it was just his reactions his reactions were fantastic and then we go and get a corner at the other end and it's a fantastic ball in and it's a great header by uh connor wickham unmarked and you've got to give props to the people in the box because they were doing the blocking jobs perfectly. Born and uh, Iortha blocking my, the man off so Wickham could find space to get the run to be the open man. And it's a fantastic header. Now, they are going forward and they are looking good at times. We do tend to play it a little bit deep, play it back to Wildsmith and try and pump it long. Granted, it's a strategy that a lot of people don't like at times, but it's working. Um, Boren picked up a little bit of a knock, so it'll be interesting if he comes out in the second half. But apart from that, we've been fantastic this game. Uh, we need to be a little bit better on our discipline. We seem to drop that a tiny little bit. Have we... We're picking up a lot of silly, needly yellow cards. So we've got to be careful in that. There are a couple of players already on yellow, so we will need to be very, very careful indeed. But so far, 1-0 to Wednesday, and we're playing some really good football. Hopefully, we can keep this up in the second half and try and find a, another goal. I'll turn the table. We're in 13th place at the moment, which is fantastic. We just need to get as many points as humanly possible for if and when the point deduction comes in. So let's see what we can do and see if we can pick up another goal. So in that second half, we came out of the better team again, uh, playing some really, really good football and just playing dominant. Uh, they did come forward a couple of times and we had to be on our guard, but we make it 2-0. Another corner. So that's three goals from corners in since the restart for us. Forest and two today. And it's longer we get the goal, but it's a great assist by Wickham. And we really start to come into some really good play and playing some good football. Going forward, having a look at it. And we could have got another one at one point, but it just wasn't there because it was a bit of a gush shot from Wickham. Sadly, they do make it... Uh, two one. They get a goal. It's a fantastic save by uh Joe Wildsmith initially, and the striker just did what strikers are meant to do. He got there for the rebound and got it perfectly. There was some controversy at half time for 
us on Twitter because Morgan Fox came on, had this is his last game for us. A lot of people are asking why he come on. Uh, end of the day, he came on, he did his job. Uh, and it was the things you took to say thank you for your service to the club. Good luck for wherever you go next. We make a lot of substitutions. The crew comes on, New Hugh comes on, Pelopesi came on. Uh, I'm missing one. Oh, Ajabayo came on as well. And we looked very solid. Uh, New Hugh came on, did a shit like he always does. And we do get the three points. And this is huge for us. These three points are massive. Now, the problem you've got is we have a game on Wednesday night, I believe. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, we've got West Brom on Wednesday night, which will be interesting just because uh, at the end of the day, it'll be interesting because West Brom haven't been great, let's be honest with you. And that will be interesting because we are apparently meant to be hearing some point this week when our uh, point deduction is going to be happening. Now, that could mean what it means for the table-wise. So, let's have a look. There we go. So, as you can see, we're here. We're in 13th place now on 52 points. 10 points clear at the drop. Now, if they decide to go, right, we're going to give you the 10 points and go to down to here and drop us there, we've got to win, in theory, all our games near the bottom to do it. With how they're playing at the minute, I can see us doing it. We are looking quite solid, but we don't know. This is the problem. The problem you've got is the uncertainty of what we've got. We just need to keep playing. If the when and when the point deduction or if or when the point deduction comes, the players have just got to think it is what it is. We just go from there and we try and battle on. And that's what they've got to do. That's got to be the mentality, really. The mentality of this has got to be it coming, it's happened move on from it and that's what their mentality been since so let's see how we do but it's a fantastic three points and we move on to the next one and just finger crossed to see what happens this week